one hour of effort loading driving downloading launching the boat onto the waters and here i am my happy place one o'clock sunday afternoon welcome if you're joining me yes this is my spot stanford lake i'm here for my tranquil treatment my soul saving rest on my kayak yeah the seasons are changing so the days for coming and fishing in this type of weather is getting few so i'm making use of it was in pretoria yesterday again with a nice competition with my son doing fencing he did very well got his first gold medal and the 17 and he got a bronze and a 20 so yeah i'm very proud of him and he enjoyed it so much we all enjoyed it the whole experience so yeah let's see what happens today so i feel the water temperature is quite low so that would mean probably mean that they would still be seeking out the warmer water which so i know in that area there close to the bridge in that direction close to the road that's uh last week even i i found them there a lot of them in the shallows but obviously difficult because they're amongst the reeds so in the meantime i'll just go down this bank embankment here very good structure lilies and stuff so i'll work that with the with the weightless fluke and see if i can pick up something so yeah i'm trying to imagine how the lure looks underneath the water natural twisting little movement thing symbolizing a little fish in trouble Let's see if i can yeah okay there's one right here next to the boat First fish that actually did not take long at all. Oh, I'll still, I'll still, I'll still, I'll still hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, we've got our first fish. That took about 15 minutes. It's always encouraging if you don't have to wait too long for your first fish. Okay, like I reminded myself last week, do not clean your hands on your pants. Fish number two. Come on. So, I switched over to the flukes, trying for about an hour on the topwater frog, but nothing happened. Went over to the fluke, and the, there it is. So, Oh, just made it. Okay, okay, before you hurt yourself. Stop, stop, stop. So thank you, thank you, little fishy. Where would you like to go? Nice one. Right amongst the lilies. Just beautiful skin. Just beautiful skin. <laughs> yeah, well, that was quite something. I caught right there next to the jetty, right in front of the jetty basically. Also, also a nice little fishy. Let's see how it swims. Maybe it will swim nicely for us. I think it bumped it its head. Okay, and you keep a lipless crank. Of a square ball crank. Thanks, John. Thanks for joining us. Oh, there he goes.
beautiful man on the fluke like afternoon sun there he goes another late afternoon fish What a surprise. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much Fishy for visiting me this late hour. Well, this is my spot that I told you the other day about that I, I've got so much confidence in. So. Wow. That's a nice fish, man. That's a nice late afternoon fish. How's that? Let's wait. I think oh, let's say 650. Oh, a bit more. Good stuff. Hold it. 620. Okay, that's wonderful. Oh, that's a nice size fish for me. That's a nice size fish. I'm really happy with it. Thank you very much Fishy for visiting me. See the sun is going down, Stanford Lake. One last cast and I got this beauty. Nice. Okay, it looks like the weather is kind, kind of changing a bit. So I see the trees are already starting to change their leaves. So I'm not too excited about that, but it's still very beautiful. So yeah, just like life is different seasons now. And we have to do the best we can in each season of our lives. I mean, each season requires different things from us, you know. There's a time that you have to study hard. Then there comes a time that you have to work hard. But there's one thing you always have to do and you have to love Keep on loving in each season in and out you have to love those people that it's around you keep on loving inside in season and out of season you know like the bible says you must in season and out of season meaning in the good seasons and the bad seasons when it's going well with you and when it's going, going difficult the difficulty with you you have to treat people well you have to treat them with love and care so yeah i hope that rain is not going to catch me that, uh, that won't be fun so as the sun is setting, I want to thank you for joining me again today. Yeah, it's getting more and more difficult to catch a lot of fish, but that's just part of the experience. To be out here is is 90% of the experience, you know. So even if you come out here and you don't catch any fish, it's still a wonderful experience in life. Probably going to start 
<coughs> we'll probably get colder soon. The days will get more challenging to be on the water and the fish will get even more inactive. So yeah, I'm glad I came out today. I don't know when I will come again and how often I will come in the next couple of months. So South Africa, our winter season, you could say it's not long. It's about three, three and a half months, four months maybe. And then the season changes and spring starts and the whole exciting process of fish waking up, starting to spawn and all those things. South African winter is not long, it's just about three or four months. So in general, the winter is not a very cold time, but obviously the fish is not so active. So I don't think I will be fishing so often in the winter months, which this is March, April, they say the months with the letters R in are the ones that we can catch fish in in South Africa. So April is still there, but April's already getting quite cool. All the season is changing and ah, but it's relative, you know, some people catch great fish even in the winter months. It doesn't matter where you are, where you are really in South Africa. You can still keep fishing, but the result is just not so good. Not many fish. I think we caught about five again, five or six or something. Not big at all. They were all quite small. So thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Please comment if you have the time to comment. I know the world is full of serious entertainment these days. And to watch a uh, simple YouTube channel about fishing, it's not so exciting anyway. I still appreciate you watching this. Please share your thoughts and tell me where you're watching from, where in South Africa or if you, even if you're overseas, where you're watching from. And may it go well with you this week. May you be protected and that the news you hear will be good news, not stuff that will upset you. Thank you again for joining me here on Stanford Lake. Hope to see you next time.